Hey there, everyone. Welcome to my channel. And today I have something quite unusual to show. So I came across this on Reddit, Windows 10 to XP, and apparently fully converts Windows 10 into Windows XP, the full visual. Like everything just transforms into Windows XP, but running on Windows 10, like everything, literally, it's a full, uh, it's a full visual change. It's not just, you know, your average team that changes a thing here and there. It's everything. And uh, it's mind blowing from the looks of it, isn't it? But as you know, I'm more of a visual learner. I like to experience things myself. I asked for a link, which he provided, thankfully, so we can experience Windows XP on top of Windows 10. Well, let's see how that goes. Uh, Windows centric XP. It's already running, by the way. So let's let's jump straight in. Let's see. Uh, here's the thing, and as you can tell, it looks pretty much like XP. Even the icons. Obviously, I mean, it's a conversion that's supposed to make it look like Windows uh, XP. So it's quite obvious that it's gonna resemble Windows XP a lot, and it does. Look at that. All the icons are carefully where carefully changed to look like xp so even chrome's got like the old icon you have outlook here does it work let's see yeah it does look at that oh my god so that's just like is that a skin no that's that that's the actual thing wow it's that's amazing looks a lot like xp maybe uh yeah i would say and maximize and minimize and so on it doesn't look very much like xp per se but everything else just uh spot on let's see internet explorer does that work no it doesn't work so let's just abort for now but we got google chrome which is uh the actual google chrome as you can see and uh, we got network just uh just fine there see we have internet, everything works. Recycle bin, look at that. Just like Windows, oh my god, this one is perfect. So it's just Outlook that has this weird buttons. So you should check the recycle bin, it looks fine. Let's check other stuff. Uh, wow, the start is perfect. Like this is just like using Windows XP. Windows XP. Like look at that, it's amazing. Notepad, just like the real one. I mean, it kind of is. Wowzers, paint. We have paint right there. Just like the old one. Oculator. WordPad. Even the even the tour thing works. Like that's crazy. That's actually crazy. We have welcome to Windows XP, just like the old one. Like it's a full conversion. It's like you're running Windows XP, but it's actually Windows 10. It's mind blowing. Like there's no trace of Windows 10 whatsoever. You can only tell it's Windows 10 because if you run... Oh boy, hold up. We, uh, maybe we ran out of RAM because the machine has like two gigabytes of RAM. I had a couple issues like I had to extract the VM like twice because I had issues with blue screen and stuff. So I, I, I left it default at this point without changing the original setting. So maybe that's kind of making things a little bit more confusing, but yeah, uh, that's weird. So let's try Windows R. Well, this works. So if you click on run, it doesn't work, but Windows R works. And if we check Winver, it says 1803, which is clearly uh, Windows 10. So this is actually not XP, but Windows 10. Look at the control panel though, it's insane. It looks just like uh, the, the classic one, look at that. It is, it, it is a wonderful, wonderful work for sure. Like, wow. User accounts, just like Windows XP as well. Even the sounds, like they, they changed just about everything. It's, it's a trip back down memory lane and it's a it's just as perfect as it could be. It's not just the, you know, it's just not the green and the blue, the classic, very um, dated visual, but it's just the whole thing, the whole experience, the whole Windows XP experience just bottled into this mod that just, you know, wow. 
So if you want to go back to XP, but still, you know, keep a safe environment. Oh, what that, that icon is probably from Windows 10, but still, if you want to keep like some of the experience, the Windows XP experience, but you want Windows 10 safety and stability and speed and, you know, the fact that you can play recent games and stuff in the X12 and so on, this is perfect. I mean, look at that. I mean, granted, it's a virtual machine. It's not like you can actually, uh, maybe one day he's going to release, uh, I'm not sure. I didn't ask actually, maybe he's going to release like the full guide to do it yourself and convert the whole thing. Cause currently it's just a virtual machine. You load it up, it's all ready and with all the stuff already. So you don't actually have to do any work. You just load up the VM and bingo, bingo, it's there. It's right there and you just got to enjoy it. And everything works amazingly other than if you're an exporter. Let's do the, let's do it. Let's see. Welcome. Oh my Windows God. From Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Oh my God. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Best for business. It works. Windows XP professional. It actually works. System. Get more this is crazy. Ah, uh, wow. It's the full thing. Like it's literally the full thing. And it got like more than that, obviously. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, how about that? It's the old Windows Movie Maker. Somehow they managed. He managed to just, uh, bring everything back. <laughs> and it all works as it should. It's crazy. As you can tell it's Windows 10 because PowerShell, it wasn't a thing. Uh, I don't, I don't think it was a thing at least, but yeah, I think it was not. PowerShell is pretty recent. And we have the games as well. We have Pinball. The classic, it's full screen, but look at that. It's pinball right there. The, wow, it's it, it's just crazy. I'm like, wow. Like, it, it's hard to tell it's actually Windows 10. Like, it's so well done that you can hardly tell that it's uh, on top of Windows 10 and not original Windows XP. I mean, it has, like, it had a little icon and this computer icon, which is not from XP, obviously, but you can really, really, really fool someone with this. You can just casually load up Discord and be like, <laughs> yeah, boy, I got Discord running on Windows XP or Steam or whatever, because Steam doesn't work on uh, XP anymore. But look at that. Even the Fire Spotter, it's just like the old one. Very, very OG. The property is also very uh, much like the old thing. I am, I'm very impressed. Like I, I knew it was a good work from the pictures, but I didn't, uh, I didn't think the experience would be so accurate. Like everything is just there. There's no like, um, I may even say shortcuts. You know, no corner cutting whatsoever. It is basically uh, Windows XP. It's not just the, the visuals, it's the whole thing, it's the experience. You, you really go back to 2001 with this, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a must try, honestly. Like, it's mind-blowing how much work they've done here. Do we have MSN? Please tell me we do have MSN. That would be so cool. Well, apparently we don't have MSN, that's a shame. But most of it's there, and it works, the games, the um, uh, outlook if you want to check your email <laughs> i mean it's probably not safe to use outlook 6 but it's there you know if you want to use it it's there windows explorer the og one like look at that it's insane like he managed it somehow it's just really straight up really paint we've checked it before but let's uh let's even see about me you know 2001 this is this is crazy. I'm, uh, I, uh, oh, I forgot to show, oops, oh, the settings. Look at that, display properties. We have the background, we have the screensaver page. Yeah, you can set up some screensavers. And uh, they're full 3D. Look at that, from Microsoft Plus. This is insane. And uh, we have uh, appearance you can customize. Well, not, not really, apparently. We have the settings. True color, rich a bit. Like it's a, it, it, it's definitely a trip down memory lane and so well done. 
I can even display. If you go to the control panel as well, you have more settings. So color and appearance, uh, you can set like, look at that, this is crazy. Okay, this is from Vista, isn't it? Even buttons, maybe, yeah, that's a uh, leftover from, but uh, most of it's very consistent. It's more consistent than Windows 10 itself, because Windows 10 is very, and if anything, it's the opposite of consistent when it comes to the visuals. And this is just straight up, like, perfect uh, Windows XP representation. Like, it's just, uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm just mind blown. I'm having fun here. I'm actually having fun. This is great. And uh, the fact that it just works you know it's and and it's like a windows xp you can actually install modern stuff on it that's crazy like let's uh, say you want discord let's download discord download for windows see it's it's doing it you can just run whatever you want you can start steam and play your games and have that og vibe even though i mean this is really brilliant Oh, oh, oopsie daisy, wait a minute, uh, maybe it doesn't work with just about everything, even though it, it is Windows, uh, but it's 1803, so maybe that's a problem, maybe that could be it, let's see, let's try and install Steam this time around, English, please, let's install it, see what happens, finish, okay, so, yeah, this this is going to be the real um, test right there. So Discord didn't run. So, oh, actually, it didn't install Discord, though, because we have Discord here. What? 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 I I'm confused. So it's true and error, but it did install Discord. It's just, uh, what? I'm, I'm very confused. So we do have Discord. What? Oh, boy. It's not going to detect anything. There's nothing going on. Good luck. Uh, Google Chrome. Yeah, sure. Use Chrome. It's not going to work. But yeah, so we have Discord. Uh, it was just a weird glitch, maybe because of the visual modifications that are running. Maybe it just didn't cope with it very well and it's true and error, but it didn't install. And we have Steam as well, so you can run just about anything. And it's going to look like XP. It's a full XP environment into Windows 10. It's crazy. I love it. Absolutely love it. I give it a solid 10 out of 10. Even, let's see, date and time. Does it look like Windows XP? Uh, it doesn't even let me do that. Is it loading? Because we only have two gigabytes of RAM, so maybe that's causing that. But I don't think so. Uh, date and time control panel. Yeah, that, that's just not working. It's even linked out. Internet options also blanked out. Maybe they couldn't convert that uh, over to network sharing. Yeah, that works. So from Windows 10, but still, yeah, very impressed with the whole thing. Like, Im actually, wow, I, I didn't really expect it to be that consistent and functional. Even the icons, like every icon is carefully, it, it just resembles it so perfectly, like the font. The, the whole user experience, the, it's out there. It's it, it's crazy to believe that this is actually Windows 10 and not Windows XP. But yeah, with that being said, I think that's enough for this video. It's actually very impressive. I'm going to be linking the original post down below so that you guys can get the link and message the guy and get the download link and try it. Because I really think it's it's an experience you really gotta have. You really gotta go through this and try it out because it's insane. It's uh, it's hard to believe until you actually get and try it out. It's uh, it, it it's really that crazy. So Windows XP sixty four bit that runs Windows ten applications pretty much. What a work! What a piece of work! It's fantastic. I've said that so much already. I mean, if you take a shot every time I said it was great or good or awesome or mind blowing, you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be pretty drunk. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be enough to to make you lose your senses for a while. But yeah, anyway, that's too much rambling. That's the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it, 
and uh, the link's going to be there, as said. But once again, I mean, as I always say, feedback's much appreciated. So if you guys have any sort of comments, you know, let me shy. I love feedback. It's much, much appreciated. I see you guys in the, in the next one. Bye-bye.